Let's face it, the typical FANG coding interview feels like a bad mixture of oral exams, being asked to hold a spontaneous speech in front of people you care about, being invited to your new girlfriend's parents' place for dinner for the first time, and a quiz show. What makes it especially hard to prepare for those interviews is that you know in the back of your head that once you pass the interview, you will be back in a dead silent room for most of the day, left alone to write your code. I know the pain and I know it very well, but have you ever asked yourself why whiteboard coding interviews are still such a popular tool to evaluate candidates? Today, I'm shedding some light on why big tech companies are still relying so heavily on whiteboard coding interviews and why they probably will continue to do so. Let's get going. I'm Fabian, the Big Tech Coach, and on this channel I make technology, career and success simple. If you're struggling with technical interview preparation or you're even too intimidated to get started, just subscribe to my channel and get ready with me. Most interview questions are somewhat short and they always circle around the same topics. Thereby, the solution also becomes standardized and limited in scope. Most of them don't spend more than 50 lines of code. And that makes it easier for the interviewer to follow the implementation and evaluate the candidate's performance. Command over language. Without an IDE, candidates are all prone to syntax errors. And yes, fan companies do know that, but they expect you to have a good command over your language. If you make many syntax errors without correcting them in the process, it's more than a red flag. Problem solving skills. While you code, there will be times you need to change the design and the code accordingly. And that will be super messy on paper, first of all. So that's why a whiteboard is definitely a better option. Also, the interviewer has a better time because he or she can follow you implementing your logic in real time and it's easier to see how your code evolves. Gatekeeping. No doubt, whiteboard interviews are hard and most people need to spend a serious amount of time and effort to prepare for those interviews. And that's exactly what's intended. They act as gatekeepers to only allow the smartest or most dedicated candidates to succeed. And yes, it also requires a bit of luck that the interviewer asks you the question you can answer perfectly well. But this has always been true for any kind of exam. What's your experience? Please let me know in the comments below if you know a coding interview design which is superior to the classic whiteboard interview. I'm very keen to learn more about alternative approaches. Thanks for watching and I hope you got a glimpse of an idea why fan companies are still relying so heavily on whiteboard coding interviews and probably will continue to do so for at least a while. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support me, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. To learn more about coding interview prep, I also recommend to watch one of the displayed videos.